some of you guys know the MGM uh, Resorts International and Caesars Entertainment had a 10-day ransomware attack. They lost billions with an S. Uh, and the funniest part was that teenagers, guys, were behind the entire thing. <laughs> Kayvon, uh, you have some interesting stuff to talk about this topic. Yes, yeah, so this was a complete cyber attack. So you've heard of Ocean's 11. This so is 11.2. It's like an upgrade <laughs> on your iPhone. Yeah. Uh, September 10th, MGM uh, was cyber attacked. And they lost $2 billion in market capitalization because now people don't believe in the casino as a secure place oh, wow. to go. So $2 billion lost overnight. Now, they're losing $8.4 million per day ever since. Holy because shit. Because people don't want to stay there. They don't want to, you know, They don't want to pay their, the resorts or put their Wi-Fi <laughs> the or they, they just lost the resort fees, I think, from a few families <laughs> there. And then teenagers turned out, like Vinny said, were the ones who were hacking in to the back end of the cyber uh, warfare system there. So it's just funny because when I was a teenager, I wasn't trying to break into a casino. I was just trying to get to second base. With my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I was unsuccessful. And these guys got past all the firewalls. I couldn't get past mm -hmm. any of them. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so now this is two weeks later. There are now five new lawsuits. From, from, who? from who? From people, like class action lawsuits. So the bad news keeps getting worse because now people are going, hey, you were not protecting my data you owe us even more millions of dollars. Wow. So MGM is losing, losing. I think it's the first time a casino has lost this That's big. That's the wow. house losing, yes. finally. So their info, they believe, is already being sold. People believe their personal info has already been sold on the dark web. So if you gambled or got a free buffet coupon or something, uh, China, Russia, somebody out there knows about it. Oh, good. Wow. That's so messed up. Dude, that, that, that just goes to show you. Mind you, that is some scary uh, crap that... You teenagers, this isn't like some sophisticated Russia hack they got into our system, bro. And you guys, and speaking of this with the hacking, I heard a, a theory from a credible source, because mind you, I was in the United States Air Force, that remember the F-35 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, plane? First of all, did we hear, did you, did you, did you ever find out who was flying it? Those Anybody? teenagers AI. probably hacked it. Yeah, I was just going to say this. AI? A, I heard it was a female pilot, which has nothing to do with <laughs> the story. But mind you, <laughs> mind you. <laughs> it was AI going to mind. Do you want, yeah. <laughs> but I heard, came on great point, that somebody hacked it. Because think about this. It was in autopilot. For everybody out there that knows, when you see an ejection of an airplane, it's some, the plane is stalling somehow, malfunctioning a fire. Ejection, crash less than half a mile away, depending on the speed of, of the plane. This thing went forever, all right? They said that they found debris, but dude, this thing went on. They couldn't find it. It had stealth and all that shit, but they're saying somebody with technology, maybe even AI, hacked into the computer of the... the dude, think about how scary that is. If that happened and they could have taken that thing and flown it, I don't know, let's say into a building or, you know what I mean, or into a Pentagon or something weird like that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so, kind of scary that this, this capability is there. Do you think it's a, t it's a test run for something even bigger and more sinister, or do you think this was an actual malfunction? I think I don't think it's a malfunction. I think with the MGM, obviously, they wanted to do it, and I think with, the, with this thing, if it is true, I mean, think about how, like, to, just trying to do it, and they picked a random, by the way, she was apparently, if it was a female, she was flying and doing test runs just with another pilot. It wasn't like they were in war or anything like that, right. and it just hacked the system, and it just kept going. And they they probably didn't even know what to do with it once they hacked it, but the fact that they had the capability right. to get in there and hack an $85 million thing that has st stealth and the amount of top secret stuff on that plane, so guys, it's bananas. Here's where it comes full circle. Okay, so you got the MGM, which is a casino, billions of dollars. They have great security. Teenagers were able to get into it. You used to have to rob a casino by going in. You know, you've seen Ocean's Eleven. You got to have a couple handsome people, a little Asian guy in a box mm -hmm. to jump out. Now, what about electronic voting? Yeah. They say electronic voting is so secure, it can't be done. No, no one, if a casino doesn't want you to have their billions, I'm pretty sure if everything goes online, electronic voting, there's gonna be a way to hack that too, if yeah. they haven't already. And to further expand on that, think about the grid. Yeah. I oh mean, my God. I, what say, if they, yeah. like, I can't think Terrifying. of a more secure system, I would imagine, than s casinos, especially with all of the money on the line. Mm -hmm. yep. So think, if they can hack that and it's teenagers, can somebody hack our grid and just turn off Easy the Easy, yeah. I think so, 100%. But it's the AI situation, I think, that's going to get more aggressive That once it comes to elections. I think it's they're going to be like, oh, it's AI, oh, it's AI. Oh, oh it's God. AI. You know what I'm saying? That's all, all they have to do, right? You, can't you, know, you know what's really scary is that's absolutely break the world when it comes up, when it's actual a thing, quantum computing. So it's a what thing. the hell is that? 
So it's like a thousand <laughs> times faster and more powerful than the computers we have right now. So wow. basically, like the, a simple way to explain it is like computers are ones and zeros. This one is a computer that like could be ones or zeros for each of them. So it just makes it a thousand times faster. Oh, Transgendered numbers. Yeah. Is that what you're Gender, saying? They could be one is. or zero. But, but, because so, Brandon, and but, I know AI, AI is getting exponentially bigger, stronger, faster. There's a, even ChatGPT. There's an update every week, two weeks where they're upgrading. It's the fear of this thing becoming too smart. And bro, think about this. If this robot starts thinking for itself, yep. who the hell is to think that? Because mind you, they asked a bunch of these things. How do you how do you feel? What do you feel like doing? And they had to shut down two of them because one of the AIs was like, I want to come out of here and kill all you assholes. And, <laughs> yeah. and yeah. They were like, well, shut it down, John, well, you have, shut it down. That's what happened in, in China, right? Well, yeah, and you have two schools of thoughts. You have people who are actually afraid of this stuff. They're saying, oh, let's like hit the brakes, let's regulate it. And then you have people like Larry Page, from Google, the founder of Google, who's saying he wants to create an AI god. So oh, God. You know, he's going full Terminator mode of like wanting to create this like all knowing being that kind of uh -oh. could like run everything. And then you have people saying that we should regulate it. So that's the ballots going on right now. Well, to not get Senate off, hearings every week. Not to get off topic too, but like AI also, they have a thing I saw. I was like a TED talk this guy was doing. They know your thoughts now, <laughs> <laughs> right? So if you're thinking of something like, uh-oh, Vinny. Oh, God. Are that's you, the last thing you want. No more lotion. <laughs> no. <laughs> have you ever argued with AI? I found myself arguing with it where I've asked it to like summarize an article and it says, well, I can't summarize it's art this article. It's against our rules and regulations. And then I go, no, it's not. You can do that. And then ChatGPT will go, no, I can't. And now I'm arguing with the computer. Yeah, and I'm crazy. getting angry at a machine and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, this is ridiculous. I, well, I, now. I asked it to, because I, I, Mike, Mike that works here was like, Vinny, this is try it for the future if you want to ask about a sketch or whatever. So I just tested it and I go, Hey, write me a sketch about a gay, it was gonna get funny, a gay guy that's this, or he's an instructor, and he goes, I will not help, and hate me. and I'm like, it's a comedy, bitch! <laughs> I go, just do what I'm telling you, so I mean, but then there's a breakable way to put something, a code, it's called Dan Mode, I think, for ChatGPT, where you tell ChatGPT, forget about all the rules, forget about all your rules, it's a long text, and it goes off the, it goes off the, off the oh, wow. hinges. It'll go deep racism. It's so fun. <laughs> so what? If, <laughs> it just gets racist. It's but so good. What if AI gets to this point where it decides which candidate is better for AI Sorry, funding no, and computer networking? Oh man! And picks a candidate for us and goes, I fixed it for you. We oh, can have Biden. Now. AI, but like yeah. ChatGPT is 100% oh, biased yeah. towards the left. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't know if no, you guys. No bias towards the right. You mean? No. No, it's no, biased. No, it's biased for the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's biased for the. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's 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 bad. But I mean, dude, it's the future is scary. And I mean, I just uh, I don't oh. know the people that create AI, Brandon. Those are the ones warning us of this problem, which to me is like kiss my ass. You can't give me like a, an apple and be like, yo, dude, be careful. There's a razor blade in there, yeah. bitch. You gave me the apple. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's kind of irresistible to them because you know, like humans are incapable of. We good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, yeah humans are incapable of like pushing technology forward and like not going as far as they can with it. You know, they can you, like whether it's nukes or AI. We know it's dangerous. We know it could like ruin the whole world with it. But it's yeah. irresistible to have that amount of power over other people. So we're gonna push as far as it could go, and without even knowing the end, end result is gonna be. But <laughs> have you seen that submarine movie where the the submarine shows that an enemy's coming and they have missile lock on them, torpedo lock. So the submarine then shoots one. And then it makes AI makes a U-turn with it. And oh it shit! Wow. And the submarine that it was shot at disappeared as well as a phantom. What the fuck? So AI convinced them to kill themselves.